All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great session with the presidential candidate of the fictional common sense people's party. Now, one quality that a leader must possess to succeed is a very sound knowledge of the environment and the condition of living of the people he governs. Aside knowledge gathered from third parties, a leader must have first-hand knowledge of his people. That is the only way he can know the effect and impacts of his policies and actions on them. That was what Peter Obi displayed during the campaigns that got millions of Nigerians to support him. When he spoke about insecurity, Obi discussed it succinctly with relevant figures. When he spoke about the economy and unemployment, Obi spoke with understanding of the problems, how we got there, and how to get out. However, one of the major problems of this country was blown open during the 2023 presidential election. That election made it clear that there are forces outside Nigeria who benefit from the corruption in this country. These forces don't want to see Nigeria and the rest of Africa grow. They were one of the people who gave INEC, APC, and Tinubu the air country to do what they did in that 2023 election. They need presidents and governors that can be controlled. Presidents and governors that are corrupt so that through them, they can continue to siphon the resources of this country. Just few hours ago, the World Bank in two separate statements demonstrated clearly that they are the ones controlling Tinubu's government and they do not have good intentions for the people of this country. Before I show you the most devastating statement of the two, let me start with the one that clearly shows that these people are in control of the Tinubu administration. This statement shows that these people don't mean well for this country and they will only back leaders that will corrupt and cripple the economy of the country. Look at how the papers reported it. Stop subsidy payment. Increase petrol price to 750 naira per liter. World Bank tells FG. The World Bank has said the federal government may still be paying for petrol subsidy as fuel prices in Nigeria are currently not cost reflective. It said Nigerians should pay about 750 naira per liter as against the current price of 650 naira in some places. Our correspondent reports that petrol is already selling at around 690 naira in Kano and Sokoto and over 700 naira per litre in far northeastern states of Yobe and Bruno. With current prices, many Nigerians have packed their vehicles, even as costs of basic necessities of life have skyrocketed and value of income of citizens eroded by inflation. Many observers have already condemned the World Bank's prescription and advised the federal government to look for a homegrown solution to the prevailing economic challenges in the country. Daily Trust had reported in September that despite the numerous assurances by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu that the petrol subsidy regime was gone, the government paid $169.4 billion as subsidy in August to keep the pump price at 620 naira per litre. The World Bank's lead economist of Nigeria, Alex Sinayat, confirmed the continuous payment of petroleum subsidy by the government in Abuja yesterday during his presentation of the Nigerian Development Update, NDU, December 2023 edition. We think the prices of petrol should be around 750 naira per liter, more than the 650 naira per liter currently paid by Nigerians. Now, this is World Bank's lead economist for Nigeria, Alex Sinat, saying that the federal government should increase fuel price from 650 naira per litre to 750 naira per litre. And look at how Nigerians reacted. This tweet here says, the way World Bank is interested in our petrol business is suspicious, very suspicious. And this tweet by Tafa Balewa says, World Bank will never tell them to make electricity to be stable or to improve healthcare, portable water with affordable food and education. And somebody responded by saying, World Bank no send you, now they are interest the day after. You see Nigerians are beginning to see all these things. And this tweet by A.M. Aisha says, World Bank always prescribing hardship for the citizens of Africa while subsidizing people of Europe and America. That is the funny thing. 
America is paying subsidies. Many countries in Europe, almost all the countries are subsidizing. But you are telling African countries to remove subsidy on a major item as petrol. So don't you know that that is going to affect our production industries? Their aim is to make sure that we cannot produce so that we will continue to consume their products. Because Africa are the highest consumers of their products. That is how they continue to enrich themselves. And this tweet here says, I am beginning to suspect the World Bank. How come they never tell government to cost their own costs? How come they never ask for what their loans were used for? How come they keep giving more alcohol to a drunk man? What are they benefiting? That is it, my brother. They are benefiting heavily from the failures of Africa. And this tweet by Garba says, But in your own country, presumably India, energy, food, and healthcare are being subsidized. Even the US subsidizes energy and food for its citizens. This is despite many health insurance scopes at cheap rates for their citizens but you are here trying to peg the price of petrol for us this is despicable now that was the lead economist of the world bank for nigeria alex senat telling the nigerian government to increase fuel price from 650 naira to 750 naira per liter you can see how they are the ones controlling the tenubu administration Yes, Peter Obi talked about subsidy removal, but not in this manner that the production industry will be crippled. These are forces trying to cripple our production industry because they know that fuel is the major drive of production in Nigeria. Fuel and electricity. And these people have worked with the corrupt leaders of Nigeria to make sure that we don't have these two things in measures that we can use them to improve our productivity so that we will remain a nation that cannot produce so that we will continue to consume their own products and only their own products now to prove that they are mischievous people after telling nigerian government to increase fuel price few hours later they came up with this ridiculous update look at how the papers reported it economic reforms nigerians under poverty line rise to 104 million world bank the same world bank a world bank report has indicated that nigeria's poverty level has taken a notch higher as the backdrop of the recent economic and fiscal reforms the world bank report also indicated that the number of poor people in nigeria had grown from 95 million in 2021 to 100 million in 2022 while the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, MBS, indicated that the figure was 82.9 million in 2019 and 85.2 million in 2020. Now, what they are trying to do is to put in our subconscious that our poverty will keep growing from strength to strength. That every year, the number of poor people will increase. This will hamper our productivity, give us a negative line of thought this is what these people are trying to achieve and look at how nigerians reacted look at some of the tweet reactions Ola Super jake says 80 million or so under buhari now 104 million in just seven months under tinubu oh they're speakable and this tweet by haruna says the same western world telling us that tinubu's economic policy is good and nigeria is a business friendly environment but p and g western world company left nigeria JSK, Western World Company, left Nigeria, and PZ is rounding up to leave. What a contradictory statement. This tells us that these people don't have any good intention towards us. We are the ones that can stand up and fix our country. Nobody's coming to help us. And this tweet by Johnson says, This World Bank has double mouth. It said NMPC ought to be selling petrol at 750 naira per litre instead of 600. The current price that has even landed many Nigerians in poverty, not to talk of increasing it to the proposed 750. Now, the financial body is saying the poverty is increasing. You see? And this tweet here says, after they've advised government to create poverty, they came back to report it. World Bank and the IMF are the real enemies of Africa. Mm. And this tweet here says, the bad administration can't manage by objectives tell the people exactly what to do to get the economy out of the blurry vision. They can't manage by responsibility, which is powerful way to grow people. They can't manage by exception. That requires reporting when there is a deviation from government plan. Oh, 
this man said there is no way that they can manage and this tweet here says himself and his family members busy spending all the money nigeria has for themselves why people can't afford food to eat just a meal a day is tough mm, pathetic and this tweet says isn't 104 million too much for a country of 200 million citizens we need a people-oriented leadership which focuses on real issues not noise making my brother you can never get that with the apc now this is simple it is a no-brainer most of these international bodies don't want the good of nigeria and other african countries that is why they see koro koro the way we are being robbed by these corrupt leaders they see the rigging and everything they have the power with just pronouncements they can control all these things but they give their backing to these corrupt leaders because it is through them that they siphon the resources of Africa. Coming out to ask the government to increase the price of fuel when you know that this is the major ingredient that drives production. At this rate, companies are folding, unemployment everywhere. You are still saying that the government should increase, but you heard about the budget, you saw it. They are not talking about the 15 billion naira that is being wasted on the vice president they are not talking about the 20.1 billion and several other needless proposed expenditure in that budget world bank is not saying anything about it the next thing you can talk about is how to increase the hardship of the people if nigerians don't wake up to take their country back nobody is coming to help us anyway make i leave i'm here make i still enter town <laughs> Make I go get some Ogbonge political news where well, I go like. Why? Because now, because of now, now I did here. So, don't go away.